Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that's Dale Chanel's 48th World and we're all about giving you the entertainment news you can use. Today is a must-see video so make sure you watch from the beginning to the end because we got special guest Kenya Moore here on the show today. Well not really but sort of. I'm gonna let you hear a clip that TMZ got on the spot. I guess they got paparazzi TMZ's uh, special news reporters out here like little gophers going around trying to catch celebrities in the act of living their daily life. Well, TMZ got a hold of Kenya Moore today. She was out with her sponsors and out at Salad Beauty uh, Supply Store where she's selling her hair care products and she was doing an opening ceremony with them. So, why don't we go and take a look here because we can't see my computer won't even show me on the screen, so therefore I can't show you uh, the video that Kim's have on Kenya Moore making the remarks that she's making. So we're going to let Kenya Moore speak out first. Then I'm going to come and give you my spiel, and we're going to read the article together, and then you all are going to make your opinions known on my platform or what y'all felt about what Kenya was doing now, doing out there in the streets today in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear it. Here we go now. New season of House Harris. Harris. Lots of drama between you and Amy Blake. You guys just been friends. What happened? Uh, I guess people's true colors just, you know, had to come out at some point. Sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So listen, out of all the housewives, she seems to be most threatened by you. Like, why do you think that is? Like, why do you think you out her case so much? I mean, you know, I'm fabulous. I mean, <laughs> look at me. I'm fabulous. No, you know what? Honestly, I, I don't know. Um, it is definitely an issue that's within her. I don't know why she's so intimidated by me, but um, I really just wish she would get herself together. Um, because, you know, I can't. I come in peace, but sure. she just always seems to find a way to be bothered. Do you feel like she's a bully? Oh, she's absolutely a bully. She's bullied everyone on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's uh, the truth. Yeah, so listen, so you got a couple of people that's jumping on our bandwagon. You got Eva, you got Marlo. Like No, Eva's on me, Eva's on my bandwagon. Really? She's actually coming today. You know, Mimi has very few friends on the show, real friends. So Okay. So Mimi and Greg are getting divorced probably every odd year. Then you have you have Marlo who's never been married. What do you say to those women who try to give you advice about when you were in your relationship? Um, I don't take any kind of advice from Mimi. <laughs> okay. definitely not about wigs okay so surely surely y'all heard all of what Kenya Moore had to say and I'm telling you every blogger or uh, news rag out there has the story that have any substance about um, their commentary uh, Lil B. Scott got, got it Tamara Tattles, Tattles got it uh, of course you know TMZ got it the Shade Room got it. Uh, just a lot of entities out there. Because she made the press today. And she coming out. She drew first blood. So you know Nene is in the corners. In the bushes. Uh, doing something on this. She's going to come back with a video. You can best surely she will. To defend herself. But I'm just going to go with my tried and true people because I was going to go with TMZ but I used their commentary as far as uh, Kenya's voice and what she felt about some of the questions the uh, correspondent or journalist asked of her uh, to answer or politely would answer if she kindly uh, wanted to of course but let's get into what uh, Celebrity Insider thought about it um because I really had no thoughts. I was cool with her saying whatever she said. Because I really think it's all about promotion. It's all about her staying relevant in the social media realm of entertainment. Her interacting with uh, people who have big followings. Uh, just like TMZ. Of course you want her stuff out there. Of course you want to stay relevant. So she had the option to definitely say no comment. And move on and go and promote her hair care products. At the Sally's, I'm thinking she probably was in Buckhead. Don't look from the scene, it really didn't give me too much, but just the noise background and, and how Kenya just rose, you would think she would probably be in more of the white district area promoting her products, even though the products are in Walmart. I uh, have seen them in there, and uh, you know, she's promoting that they're. 
predominantly at um what you call it salad's beauty supply so i'm pretty sure it's an all of the probably four or five stores we have of salad salad beauty supply stop that jay and so we're gonna go in to see what uh celebrity insider put out on what they felt or their perception they got from kenya's little Kenya's little um, on-the-spot impromptu interview she had with TMZ. But uh, let's go with, see what Celebrity Insiders had to say. Uh, Ricky Mathers, uh, she is a journalist over there at Celebrity Insider, and she wrote the piece on Kenya Moore today and how she felt that Nene was being a bully uh, in her perspective. So we have the title given to us. Kenya Moore says Nene Leakes has bullied everyone on the show. I wish she would get herself together. I'm like, Kenya, come on, girl. You come in peace. You only gonna say Nene is the biggest bully. And then you're gonna say Eva is on your side. <laughs> I wonder what Eva would be able to say about that. Even though it seems like the cards have turned and everybody is get going against Nene. They're following their own allies on the show. But we're just going to see how things get uh, pushed off once the uh, show airs on November 3rd. However, did, did y'all hear in the clip also that the little camera guy or the little journalist was trying to be shady too? He was saying Greg Leeds and Nene Leeds get divorced every other year, every other year or every other episode or season. So what he was trying to say? What was he trying to say? Everybody pits their own plot lines and fabricate their own stories and we just go with it for this mindless entertainment drama. Well, I guess that's about right because we do watch. We do report. And you all take part of it by listening and, and, and tuning in to us. OK, but we go on into the uh, article. It says Kenya Moore has never been known to mince words which is what made her so great for reality TV. While reviewing or interviewing at her Kenya Moore's hair care event at Sally's Beauty Salon, she um, expressed her true thoughts on Nene Leakes, okay? Kenya and Nene have been going at it for well over a year now. I think they've been going at it longer than that, but if you want to say a year, um, the columnist, who's writing this article, go ahead, do your thing, okay? During the latest season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya's appearance at an event thrown for Cynthia Bailey caused the Glee alarm to lash out and seemingly remove Cynthia from her friends list altogether. Of course, we all know Nene is spoiled. She's very narcissist in some ways where she definitely wants people to uh, elevate to her level. And if not, she wants them to worship and praise her as a uh, fixture for them to honor, I guess. Am I mincing words? No, I'm not, because that's truly how Nene is. She wants to be the head, uh, BIC in charge, and she's just going to keep that, not a well-kept secret, she's going to keep putting it out there for people to gravitate to it, because once a lie is told so many times, you can't help but believe it, if you are sheep at that, or at the best. Uh, going back to the article, it says now that the mother wants return for well returns once solidified. Uh, let me read that again. It says now that the mother of one's return was solidified. Yeah, it was right. Okay, I thought I was reading something wrong. Uh, it's clear that the two alpha females will be going head to head in the new installment, judging by a recent interview with TMZ. Yes, Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore has drew first blood. She's out there in the ring fighting, throwing all these jabs and punches. If you can just uh, be an imaginary mind in my mind, showing me the two going at it, boxing, and wonder who's going to get the TKO. However, just thinking about it, Nene is on the down low playing uh, her part, and she's going to strike like a cobra at any time. So, don't want nobody to come in and say, Nene doing this, Nene doing that, because uh, Kenya definitely read and shaded her today. She talked about her weeks real quick, back in a, fast in a hurry, and she talked about Nene bully everybody. Okay, and Nene ain't got no friends. She really don't. I guess Cynthia will be her friend. 
because she keep tearing up contracts, French contracts, and, and remaking them. So, yes, Nene will always have a friend in Cynthia. And to Mike, put in her head, Nene don't need to be your friend no more, and I don't want you seeing her. <laughs> and that's how that's going to play out. Then Candy may feel sorry for her. You know, say, you know, because she's the underdog and Candy used to being the underdog coming up, shining out everybody in them pockets, okay? But it just is what it is, okay? But moving back to the article, it says, when asked why she thinks Nene is threatened by her, I don't think threatened was a good word. Uh, he could have used more so, why is she so up in an uproar every time you open your mouth? Uh, uproar is a better good word. Uh, jealous, not so much. Uh, envious, nah, mm -mm. it may be of Kenya's youth, maybe, but then you be acting her age and not her age at times, so you really can't call that into play. Uh, but going back to the article, says when asked why she thinks Needy is threat, excuse me, uh, I took the silence medicine, it's making me sleepy. But um, it says when asked why she thinks Needy is threatened by her, Kenya laughs as she quips. I mean, look at me. I'm fabulous. You know, honey. Look at me. Okay. It's just like, okay, look at me. I'm, I'm eye candy. I keep myself up. I'm intelligent. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Don't look at anybody else. Just look at me. So, in a sense, King is about pick basically a narcissist as well. So, two narcissists going at each other. Mm, two alpha females. Mm, even more. Mm, okay. So, um, if you watch the video that's over there on TMZ's website, it's just like maybe not even a two-minute spiel of, of her telling her thoughts on being back at the Housewives of Atlanta franchise show and her thoughts on how Nene has perceived her or greeted her since she's been back. She says more so null and void. Nene don't want her back, but it's pretty much here what it is. She back and she going to start. Uh, getting more ratings and hits and likes and views and, uh, you know, banter out there in social media because she is rocking right now. And Needy, excuse me, guys, is um, working real hard. So she's definitely going to stay out there doing her own thing. She's out there in Las Vegas. Um, shoot, what is the other place she at? Was it Colorado? She had another store. I know it was Vegas here. It was in Texas, I believe. Okay, but, it, you know, Nene's everywhere these days. And I'm glad for her. She's getting her money. And Kenya trying to make her money come back into the likes and style of her bank account. Because right now, it's probably a little, little low. Little, I ain't saying she broke. I ain't saying she's trying to be a gold digger. She's a hard worker, too. But she needed to be back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was panting in anticipation trying to get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they knew Kenya does bring the drama and does bring the rating. So it's a win-win for both of them, okay? But TMZ could have kept looking and looking and looking. I'm sure they would have bought somebody in to spice it up uh, to offset Nene's time when she's not giving them much, okay? But going back to the article, it says, um, before taking a more serious tone while adding, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. It is definitely an issue within her. So see, Kenya's deflecting. She don't, she don't see nothing wrong with herself. But she's a hell of a lot wrong with other people. And she, right now, she's targeting Nene. She was on Tanya Sam's at one time. But since she stole the peach from Tanya and pretty much uh, left Jamara in the dust, you know, she has some peach. <laughs> so she don't care about anybody in her rear view mirror behind her back. She don't care. It's just people that's in front of her that she want to knock down and walk over. Okay? Um. You know, she's saying, oh, I don't want, I don't know why she's intimidated with her. I really wish, I really wish she would just go get herself together because I come in peace. But she just always seems to find a way to be bothered. This is what Kenya's telling, uh, verbally telling the TMZ correspondent that this on the spot interviewing her. Uh, the Real Housewives star was also asked if she thought Lise was a bully. Oh, she's absolutely a, bu a bully. She's bullied everyone on the show. Okay, Kenya, you don't did a lot of bullying yourself, so that makes you right for calling out Nene and making her a bully. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Ain't that storming the baby out with the dirty bath water? Come on, you're doing too much, Kenya, as usual. But you like a good storyline, and Nene's going to be yours 
for the season 12, along with your soon-to-be ex-husband, Mark. Okay, uh, going into the season 12, Lisa has told her friends time and time again that she has no real friends on the cast and that they will simply be her work friends from now on. According to Ken, that's exactly what has happened. Now, I have called Spade a Spade, and he was over there on Wendy Williams' show, Tearing Down Kenya, saying all these unnecessary uh, things and negativity, but this is, uh, these are Nene Leak's perspectives. Those are her opinions. Those are her feelings and beliefs. So we can't uh, put a non-valid sticker on it, okay? So uh, so it really like Nene drew first blood, and Kenya's just retaliating back. So I'm like, good job. Good job, uh, Kenya. Yes, you serving it up. Y'all on the tennis court. And Nene served it. You returned it back to her, and y'all still be uh, matching uh, on the tennis court. So I'm glad y'all are playing in the play field fairly. So Nene got you. You got Nene back. So we waiting on Nene to respond now. So going back to the order, article, it said more told the reporter who asked what side the ladies are on. They nearly all, the cast was Team Kenya because Nene has very few friends left. So this comes after it was reported that Nene had a plan to confront Kenya about her divorce. So it's all playing into their storylines, each and every one of them. Now, when she said Nene ain't got no friend, well, Nene just all of y'all. And you really weren't on the show at the time. But she just, everybody last season said they all were her co-workers. <laughs> but all of y'all need to be on that franchise housewives show. Ain't nobody trying to step away from it voluntarily. So I guess y'all will have to get fired off the show. Because ain't now one of y'all leaving. Y'all don't want to claim that's not y'all bread and butter. But we all know those who can hear, those who can see, we know why you're really on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But that's all I had to say about it. I gave y'all my spill as long as I was giving the commentary as well. So it was like hitting two birds at one stone. Oh, what? Well, yeah, that was two birds at one stone. Yeah, okay, that was right. That adage was right. So it's time for y'all to get down in those comments and, and tell me what y'all thought about uh, that on the spot reporter asking Kenya things about Nene. I mean, he could have talked about Cynthia. He could have about, talked about Kenya. I mean, not Kenya, but Candy. He could have even talked about. Cynthia's upcoming nuptials for next year. Something. But she had to go right on into the main target. She she focused on it. She uh locked it in. And she got, went out spraying with her mouth like she normally do on everything. She just like shoots straight from the hill. If she don't like you, she's going to play like she don't like you until she gets a platform to say what she really feels about you. And that's how she goes. You know, I mean, she cut from the same cloth in my book as Nene. She's just a younger version, okay? But like I said, that's all I have for this video. Kudos up to Celebrity Insider and Miss uh, Ricky Mathers for um, putting out this salacious story on Mrs. Kenya Moore and her hair care products. Uh, if anybody's into her hair care products, it's at Sally's Beauty Salon. We have a, a few of them here in Atlanta. And we also, I've seen her products at Walmart. So check it out. I'm natural, so I use that Blue Magic way back in the day, that old GG legacy type of hair oil for your scalp. And I'm natural, okay, because I'm 51. And a lot of things just don't agree with my skin because it seeps through my pores and my bloodstream, and it irritates the hell out of me. Sometimes I... You know, don't know if I'm coming and going, you know, with the itching, the swelling or whatever. So I really have to be straight. How they say a vegan? I have to be straight organically when it comes to putting products on my skin and my scalp. So but that's all I have for the video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Come back and always subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and share my videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and sh share my videos. Bye-bye.